Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at how to solve addition and subtraction problems. This is standard 3.4a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 1 of the 2024 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so it looks like we have a pretty simple word problem here. We've got a school selling hot dogs. So I'm just going to open up my graph paper, turn the transparency on so I can mark it up a little bit. So it had 375 hot dogs. It sold some. There was 83 not sold. So how many hot dogs were sold is really what I'm looking for. So there's a few different ways I can represent this, right? And the question is, well, what operation am I needing to do? Am I needing to add or am I needing to subtract? Well. I'm wanting to draw a strip diagram. And so when we're thinking of a strip diagram, I'll draw it like this, because we don't know what the pieces are yet. Sometimes we might call this a part, part whole, because we have two numbers. So if we could figure out the relationship between 375 and 83, then we should be good to go. A school had 375 hot dogs. Well, when we're looking at our part, part, whole, our whole, or our total, right, I'll put that up there, is going to be our top, and then these two are going to be our parts. So let's think of that 375. They had that. That is going to be our total because that tells us how much they had. And what we're actually doing is when we're selling stuff, we're actually taking away from that total, so that total's not going to get any bigger. It's asking for how many hot dogs were sold, so it's asking for a part. All right, so let's make this the whole. So we've got 375 hot dogs to sell. Now, after the carnival has ended, it has 83 left. So I'm going to just put a question mark right there. It sells question mark. That's what we don't know. And then we've got 83 left over. All right, so we've got a few different options here. One option would be think addition, right? So we can say, and instead of the question mark, I'll put a box. Unknown number, that's how much they sold. 83, not sold. Put those together, you get your 375. I mean, you could add up if you really wanted to, but let's think of related number sentences. We know that you could take your 83, and your unknown, and you could swap them using the commutative property. Not much, not much better, but we could also write two different subtraction sentences, right? So we could subtract the unknown to get to 83. Still doesn't really help us. It's this last one that's going to really help us, right? We could take the 883, we're going to take that from the 375, and that's going to get us our unknown. That we can do. So Let's go ahead and just set that up as vertical subtraction. So 375 minus 83. 5 minus 3, we start at the right. It's going to be 2. 7 minus 8, it's not 1. Now, watch what happens if I do this incorrectly, though, because hopefully you see an incorrect answer right there. 7 minus 8 is not 1. You have to regroup because you can't take 8 from 7. But if you mess that up. You see how that's got that answer right there? All right, so that's one of our incorrect answers. So let's try that again. This time we're going to regroup. When you have a, a lower number on the bottom, you have to regroup. 5 minus 3, we're good there, but 7 minus 8 can't do that. So we need to take one of our hundreds here. That leaves two hundreds. I'm going to break that up into 10 tens. Now I've got 17 tens. Take away 8 tens. All right, so there's 9 2 minus nothing is 2. So there's our answer going to be right there, A. Let's see what happens if we didn't see that relationship, because I can guarantee you that's going to be one of our answers. 375, 83. If you just take our numbers and add, that's going to be 8. It's going to be 15. That's going to be 4. Just because you see an answer doesn't mean it's the correct answer, right? And then this 82 is, you just did 17 minus 8 is 8 rather than 9. So our answer here is going to be A, 292.